Whitlock, will LeBron leave the Cavs because of Gilbert's ties to Trump? I think this is a fascinating point that Rick Buecher made and Doug Gottlieb made in terms of LeBron has been lacing some tweets about Charlottesville and other things with anti-Trump comments. And he's jumped right into the middle of the Trump conversation. And I think this helps explain it in terms of did Dan Gilbert, when he cut that check for Trump, did he realize who his number one most valuable employee was and where he stood on this presidential issue? This is fascinating and could legitimately be at the heart of the reason LeBron is leaving Cleveland. And again, let's say you're LeBron James and you're exiting Cleveland for the second time, and you get to say, you know why? because this idiot owner supported this idiot president that I don't like and you don't like, who's going to blame LeBron? I'm going to unpack something here. You guys, I'll try to make this quick. When LeBron left for Miami, never got out until the end. When LeBron left for Cleveland, never got out until the end. All this stuff comes out, Chris Sheraton, a year before. LeBron's leaving, and he's softening the blow. When LeBron doesn't want stuff out, it doesn't get out. The letter came out. We're like, what the? <laughs> okay, so suddenly this is out. So if LeBron wants out, he's softening the blow. LeBron can say, remember that first letter, the racial coding? Dan Gilbert, Charlottesville, this guy? Can I not make the argument that LeBron, the Trump, is another opportunity for us to look at LeBron when he leaves and go, hey, I, I don't blame the guy. I don't, blame, I don't blame. I don't blame. Is this crazy? Some will say that. See, I, I, I look at it in a couple of different ways. When it comes, LeBron is very smart. And to your point, has he has he kept things close to breast? Absolutely. But he's. I don't think he he knows that the way he did it the first time leaving Cleveland for Miami was completely wrong. He will never do that again. But he also LeBron wants his. His idol is Magic Johnson. He looks up to Magic Johnson. What is Magic Johnson doing? How influent, how influential is he with that Laker organization? Huge. Before they they made him and offered him the position he's currently in now. That's what LeBron is looking to. And his greatest asset or his greatest tie is with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Why would he burn that bridge with Dan Gilbert? Now these comments. Absolutely. He, he's a huge, he was a huge Hillary Clinton supporter. He was outspoken about that. We all knew that. And so I think the comments that he's making, I think that in what we've, if it, are, if it is true, what Dan Gilbert was able to give to the Trump uh, uh, inauguration, inauguration yeah. then I think that will create in the back of his, but he would never say that because he's a oh, businessman. He said man. it through Rick Buecher. <laughs> that does it, that's what I, who gave Rick Buecher that? Yeah. Listen, I... I I think we're making too much of this. I think that the whole um, Dan Gilbert, Trump connection, it probably irks LeBron James a little bit. But LeBron James is leaving Cleveland for the same reason he left the first time. Not enough players to help him cement his legacy as one of the top three players in the history of the game, okay? When this season was over and I watched every game in the finals, and I looked at that, at, at that Cleveland Cavalier team. I said, the only way that this team can compete with the Golden State Warriors is to get Paul George. Paul George went somewhere else. So now, what is he going to do? He's contractually stuck there one more year, okay? But the cap-wise, they're handcuffed. Yeah. They can't do anything. They can't improve the, the basketball team, okay? So for the same reason that he got up out of Cleveland the first time, he'll be getting up out of Cleveland next year for the same reason, because he knows that he's only got two, three, maybe four years max left, and he's not going to sit in Cleveland and flounder in Cleveland for three, four, five more so you years. you think Trump is overrated? That's the no, reason. No, no, no. I think leaving. he's... Don't you agree? I agree with his point. He's leaving for basketball and winning yeah. reasons. I think we agree that he's going to use Trump as the excuse to soften the blow. That I do. And it's, it's a great... It's like House of Cards. Everything has become political. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the show yes, House of yes, Cards yes, on yes, Netflix. Yes. But again, the reason is what Seth is talking about. Mm -hmm. Basketball. But to tell the fans in Cleveland and the, uh, the media across the, uh, the country that will sell this to the hill. You think ESPN and all the left-wing reporters couldn't sell this narrative? Oh, you know, he really wanted to stay, but... 
<laughs> Gilbert gave that yeah. money to Trump. Listen, listen had to go. I, I've always told you, I, I, think, I think legends like Jay-Z, Michael Jordan, LeBron, Spielberg have three stages. Look at how talented I am. Platinum records, titles, mogul stage. Once you hit the mogul stage like LeBron, brand is really Politics. important. Protecting the brand. If LeBron leaves, to your point, he doesn't want to get dinged. Mm -hmm. He wants the narrative to be, can you blame him?